Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Sam FX YouTube channel and this is a CR Dread version 10.0 beta you guys can see this is a POCO X3 slash NFC guys I am back with new video that's 2 Android 14 version ROM as you guys can see this is an Android 14 easter egg and November 1 2023 is the security patch and vendor security patch is 1st June 2023 the kernel user is 4.14.328 lineage kernel has been used build date this is December 7th latest build available for Poco X3 or X3 NFC this is recognized as Karna mine is the Indian variant many people still have the doubt but this uh, ROM will be applicable for both the versions of smartphones this is how it looks and if I turn this on as you can see this is the volume panel you get and this is a typical home screen you get I don't like this wallpaper let's go into change this wallpaper oh no yeah there are some wallpapers let's keep this one at least will it look yeah it is taking a little bit of time anyhow I'll keep this as a wallpaper and I have some customizations here let me disable the sound yeah now it's in general mode and into the lock screen you get these customizations of lock screen i mean the clock here you can adjust these things not only that you can even adjust the size of it smaller you can make it out dynamic and even you can change the color of it i really like it and opacity of it also you can adjust from here that's the only visual change you can see in android 14 that's present in cr droid and shortcuts are available show notifications on the lock screen more lock screen options you get these kind of options as you can see you get even shortcuts here right shortcuts left shortcut ambient display again it's turned on to get your notifications and all this is how we get here into the home screen you get themed icons app grid up to 16 to 10 is given icons again there are some customization here to font again you get plenty i like google sans pro or google science medium like that anyhow i didn't find here okay and shape again you get these kind of shapes for example i want this squirrel apply yeah now everything will be in that shape the icons you are getting restarted or what yeah Yeah, that's how it looks like app drawer and typical home screen. This is the quick settings panel into the edit section. Just drag these two options if you want to personally activate these two separately. Dark theme is given. Extra dim features again plenty are given here. Sync option is there. This is very essential. In some of them it will be directly synced. But here you can uh, personally select that yeah this are the options you get as you can see let me disable this location and sync option and i kept this smartphone ideally actually uh, yesterday i flashed this rom and kept ideally for some time let's check that battle first yeah we'll go into battery as you can see this is how the animation this is a shared red as you can see it was completely idle but there is some battery drain has been noticed during this testing uh, but what i can say is it's quite minimal i can say the battery usage you can see saturday and sunday it's recorded for two days i really like it uh, i really like the charging speeds also 33 watt charging support is also given here battery widget again these things going to be similar here nothing kind of a uh, extreme battery server but you still get this uh, turn off at 90 percent if you want you can enable that you'll get a notified once it's reached 90 percent there are no customization here but anyhow in terms of battery i'm saying and again sound and vibration again you get plenty of options here charging sounds as you can see and vibration pattern i like mmm media player you can choose anything adaptive sound again phone ringtone and all do not disturb you get plenty of options as we can know that before itself into the display again you get a little bit of animations here and there that's the shared red style a lock skin again as is shown before here screen timeout you get up to 30 minutes and screen attention is also given once you turn on it your screen from turning off it you are looking at it it will prevent it that's how it is dark theme again you can see the ui is still not that 
Oh, great. Once you turn on the dark theme, it should turn on eventually. Then the ROM is going to be great. I haven't seen that kind of ROM in Android 14 and even Android 13 too. But this is smooth as you can see. The recent apps is very, very smooth and dark theme implementation is really good. Once you apply this one, uh, pure black, then it is really, really good in my opinion. Okay, let me disable that for time being. Yeah, nightlight feature is also given. You can adjust the intensity and schedule it out. Colors, just three options. I like kept boosted. Rotation settings again. If you want something to be rotated in different angles, you can make that out. Peak and minimum refresh rate. Everything keep it to 120 and use it as a fly. Tap to wake and tap to sleep is given. Let's check that. Yeah, tap to wake and tap to sleep. Both are working fine. Really, really good in this particular ROM. I really like those things. I mean, many of the ROMs they will give, but it will be like in the quick settings panel, you need to tap like that. But here, uh, sorry, actual tap to sleep and tap to wake are working fine. Wallpaper sun style, I already explained this. Accessibility menu again, you get these kind of animations are really, really cool in say Android. I really like that menu shortcut i keep on telling this every time without actually pressing the volume button as you can see now i can access the volume even brightness also i can increase without actually let me check the fingerprint unlock also yeah as you can see without actually touching this i can increase or decrease the brightness using this access built menu which is a handy feature i keep on telling this but no one are using it i don't know but it will be handy feature add an audio description flash notifications camera flash screen flash preview you can see here you can enable that out audio adjustment again if you want left side more audio i mean the top speaker you can do that from here and even if you want to write this bottom speaker you can adjust this using this audio adjustment this is a cool feature i explained long back this but many of them uh, not watch that video anyhow these are the settings you get security and privacy as you can see you get both uh, fingerprint and face unlock maybe yeah i will add face unlock very soon let me show you the fingerprint unlock first as you can see it's very very fast to unlock your smartphone that i really liked it and face unlock will add here itself let's see how it takes i have enough light and by the way if you first time to this channel hit that subscribe button guys and also allow that bell notification whenever i upload a new video you'll get notified and into the face lock you get these kind of options here skip lock skin if you want to stay on the lock skin just enable that and always require confirmation again these things you need to keep in mind fingerprint again there is only touch if you disable that it will be used for press i really liked it new kind of implementation let me show you the face unlock yeah that's the problem once you record the face it should be clear now as you can see it's not getting recognized my face that much i'll again add the face once again in front of you and by the way if you like the video give it a like guys and face unlock delete face model let me add again set up face unlock agree i agree let me remove a little bit of mic here yeah now i can add this face done let me show this yeah why it's not recognizable that much i don't understand maybe it's not working maybe the bug again let's add one more time if it is bug let's make it clear set up face unlock again add i agree yeah if still that does not work i think this is going to be face unlock is simply not going to work in this particular rom i thought it's working but it's not working at least for me if you guys can notice that it's unlocking with face unlock let me know in the comment section guys and into the systems you get gesture support navigation mode gesture navigation with both the options of pill length and radius i really like that and back gesture height also you can adjust that back gesture haptic swipe to invoke left right edge those things are given here if you want to go back to two button three button navigation you can do that now moving into the CR drawer settings as you can see you get status bar icons if you want to get those things in the status bar you can enable or disable from here for example i don't want this uh, nfc just turn it off you will not get that into the extra quick settings those you can customize from here clock style again left or right you can select clock and hide you can see here auto hide auto hide hide duration you can adjust show duration background chip if you want you can enable again as you can see for the 
uh, time you can even select am pm style date also you can make that out i really like it uh, there are some customization as you can see small as you can see normal you can do that and network traffic monitor as a, again if you want to see the speeds of internet 4g icon instead of signal instead of lt you can do bluetooth battery status mic and camera privacy other things you can see on the skin colored icons logo again you can position them you can change the logo of it plenty are given here again battery style also few are given not plenty but anyhow many of them want to use this kind of customization battery bar again if you want to see the battery bar you can do that thickness also you can increase maybe you should assign some colors alignment center mirrored or you can even reversed uh, color also you can select green for example red yeah as you can see currently it's still green once i apply it will become red if you guys can notice or not let me show you yeah, as you can see it's very thin line even though i increased the thickness it's very very thin in my opinion you hardly you can't see that as you can see red line that's how you can enable this battery bar it's not annoying but if you want to use those features you can do that in my opinion and again my can these all the customizations you get here if i swipe like this quick settings customization dual toned theme and background opacity footer opacity you can customize each and everything in this CR that's i really like here even lock skin also again battery information if you want to get in the lock screen you can enable here weather settings again if you enable uh, as you can see there are plenty of options again as you can see that i really liked it in this particular rom that is cr droid fingerprint error and authentication vibration again if you swipe here navigation bar customizations are given here you can assign some actions for example back long press you can kill app home long press search for assistant you can customize them as you can see these kind of customizations are available for particular actions for example recent long press you can take the screenshot if you assign that those kind of things are going to work handy in my open again buttons also you can customize some of them answer call answer income calls by pressing the volume buttons that also you can do uh, silent the call would have been better the yeah, end the call is giving pressing the power button user interface again monet settings you get plenty here just uh, scroll down you get more and more customization navigation bar font style icon pack floating rotate button again notifications island notifications is also given here now playing you can customize sound also again adaptive playback as i said before these are the things going to make huge difference in your day-to-day -day life for example unlock high fps in games like bgma for some reason the bgma is asking for permission here storage permission as you can see guys access permission for this app settings to restart the game enable storage access let me do that i already seen this kind of uh, problem in previous android 13 also this is why i don't like to flash these roms it might be simple but anyhow as you can see if i go into permissions everything is accessible here microphone also allow ask every time now hello only we're using the app everything enabled but still it's asking for notification permissions you guys can see as you can see it's getting force close for now yeah that's how the rom restrictions little bit do also get this gallery application here i have some scores let me show that single score 750 and multi score is 1859 and kernel as i said linux 4.1 4.3 to 8 linux scanner and android 14 based from and this is 100 that test cpu throttling test results you guys can see maximum is 195 average is 183 and minimum is 141 and it's run for 15 minutes guys and this is a 100 that test as i said before and it's throttle to 83 percent of its max performance which is good hardly i can see any red lines but performance is really really good i like that very much in this particular room you also get this kind of file manager here pre-installed on music application if you have any files nowadays who will listen that i don't know browser also pre-installed here and calculator some of the cr dread applications i really like it even the keyboard let me show that once keyboard subscribe yeah you guys can see spacing is really really good here 
that's how it is and some of the pre-installed like fm radio is also pre-installed here contacts clock game shop i mean this game space sorry yeah these things also pre-installed here safety net status it get passed as you can see you can use all the payment applications like phone pay paytm you know is bay whatever you want to use those going to work fine here you get audio effects because we don't get any direct sound settings or dolby atmos support you get this audio effects it will make difference once you use this particular rom you'll come to know about that i haven't run anti to benchmark results maybe you'll be getting that in a shorts video i haven't run this time because no one are commenting about that let me see if i can miss that anti to benchmark results how will be your interaction and dialer again it's in shared drive dialer let's check that out you get a direct video call features too and there is even a record call options you can record the call without announcing the other person that you are recording the call that feature is also enabled here and this is the quick settings panel as you can see guys touch light you get those animations as you can see each and every quick settings toggle you get those animations android 14 is it a huge difference from android 13 yes but you can't notice that just by visually you just you use it for a couple of days or months or weeks then you can come to know that smoothness in the ui how it handles in day-to-day -day performance and even gaming also going to make a little bit of difference for some reason i'm unable to access the bgmi game here i can access that but what's the problem in the rom that's i'm going to show this is very very smooth guys recent apps i haven't seen this much smooth in any of the roms till date for poco x slash nfc that's really good the smoothness in the ui is next level if you can wait for another build if you want something else waiting but still you want to use it as a daily driver, i'll definitely recommend this out because this is one of the smoothest roms available for poco x slash nfc that is my uh, particular whatever conclusion for this rom i really liked it in terms of smoothness again regarding camera application you get basic things guys you can install other camera application like gcam my favorite one is arnobil gcam and also i have given some lmc camera and other and also guys please follow me in social media's accounts like instagram twitter and all also there is a dedicated group for this poco x in whatsapp you can join there and ask your queries and solve with your friends i can also interact there sometimes but mostly i will be doing videos here this is the shared red latest version available for poco x slash nfc definitely you can flash it out and use it as a daily drop flashing method everything will be given in the description just use the latest firmware global is my preferable don't use any 12.5.0 like that versions use the latest global firmware for both the devices x3 slash nfc and that's it guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now